Living on Long Island, the five things I love and the five I don't. That's what we're talking about today, so let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Holly Brainerd and I am a realtor with Daniel Gale Sotheby's International Realty right here in Stony Brook, New York. So today we're going to talk about the five things I love and the five things I don't love about living on Long Island. Let's start with the ugly ones first. Number one, paying for parking at ocean beaches. I'm sorry, but the amount of taxes that we pay, take the 20 bucks for the day out of my taxes. Number two, the traffic. There's really nothing you can do about it. There is a ton of traffic here on Long Island, whether you are on the Long Island Expressway or even just going through normal towns, there's traffic everywhere. Number three, parking. If you try to go to Port Jefferson or Patchogue on a Friday or a Saturday during the summer, forget about it it's almost impossible to find a parking spot. Number four, if you know me, I am not a bug person, but man, what is with the stink bugs? We didn't have them here on Long Island when I was growing up, but they're certainly here now. And the fifth thing that I hate about Long Island is the property taxes. I don't know what you can do about it, but the fact remains, our property taxes are skewed and they are not done so in a way that's beneficial to a homeowner. Now let's talk about the five things that I absolutely love about Long Island. Number one, I love the close proximity to New York City. When you live on Long Island, all you have to do is jump on the train and you can get to the city and just experience everything that Manhattan has to offer. Number two, it's artsy. We have all kinds of locations where you can experience the arts. For example, the Staller Center, Tilly's Center, the Raboli Center. You also have the Jazz Loft. We have the Long Island Museums, Pollock Museum that is out in the Hamptons. There's a Maritime Museum. There's wonderful museums all around. Number three, I love the history that Long Island offers. So much history has occurred here, specifically during the American Revolutionary War. Uh, it's a topic that I personally find fascinating, and there is so much that has gone on here. Well, right in Three Village, we were the hub for the Culper Spy Ring. There are so many different historic places that you can visit and learn about our country's history right here on Long Island. Number four, who doesn't love a great vineyard? You get some friends, you grab a packed lunch, you go out to the vineyards, and you can usually hear some really great local music while you're tasting the wonderful vintner creations. And number five, my favorite thing about Long Island is the beaches, and specifically the diversity of the beaches. On the South Shore, all of the ocean beaches, but for someone like me who lives on the North Shore and I live really close to the water here in Three Village, we have beaches like Cedar Beach or West Meadow Beach. Now, those beaches do tend to be more rocky, but those beaches are great during low tide, specifically West Meadow. You can go out to the sandbar. I mean, that's something that we've done for decades. When it's low tide, you grab your beach chairs and your food and your friends and you go out to the sandbars and you really just enjoy amazing um, sunsets or afternoons. So those are my five things that I hate and I love about living on Long Island. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Thursday, all things real estate, and you don't want to miss a thing. See you next week. Mm -hmm.